This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. What's up, you guys? It's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Transformers video. This time we're talking about every G1 Transformers combiners. So the first combiner we had was for the Constructicons, and we had Devastator. He came with either a box where you could buy all six figures in one, or you had to buy them individually carded. This is a re-release of that box. The Constructicons consisted of Scavenger, which was the excavator for the right arm. Scrapper, which was the front end loader on the right foot. Bone Crusher, which was the bulldozer on the left arm. Mixmaster, which was the cement mixer truck on the left foot. Long Haul, which was the dump truck waste. And Hook, which was the grain truck of the torso. And he appeared in the cartoon in season one of episode called Heavy Metal War. He was fighting the Dinobots. So some re-releases of him came in Generation 2 in 1993. Also in the Transformers Universe in 2003. In the Classics in 2007. In the Encore in 2011. Anime color version gift set in 2013. Generations in 2015. And also in 2015. Not sure what that one is. But then you had the Unite Wars or the Combiner Wars in 2015 as well. There was a re-release of the Vintage G1 in 2018, which was a Walmart exclusive. So the second one was the Aerial Bots, and they created Superion. He consisted of five Aerial Bots. He had Silverbolt was the torso, Air Raid was the right arm, Fireflight was the left arm, Skydive was the right leg, Slingshot was the left leg. And this one came in a box set. And here's some re-releases of him in 1994 for Generation 2. In 2008, at the bottom left, was a Transformers Universe. In 2015, the second picture there was a Generations release. 2016 was a Superior Collection Pack. And then in 2015 was the Unite Wars or the Combiner Wars release box set. So next we have the Stunticons or Minosaur. And Minosaur consisted of Motor Master. He was the torso. Dead End, he was the left arm. Wild Rider was the left leg. Drag Strip was the right arm. And Breakdown was the right leg. And so here is the box set that you can purchase this in. And here they are in vehicle mode. And also animate a picture of them individually in robot mode. You could also buy these things single carded. So here are some of the other versions we had through the years. You had a Generations version in 2014. And a Collection Pack in 2015. And then you had the Unite Warriors also as a gift set. Part of the Combiner Wars in 2015. So next we have the Protector Box or Defensor. And these were the good guys. These were the Transformers, the Autobots. And this was a rescue team. 
consisted of rescue vehicles. So here is the box set. And in order to build this, you would have to have hot spot as the torso, which was the fire truck. First aid was the left arm. Blades was the right arm. That's the helicopter. Streetwise was the left leg. That's the ambulance. And groove was the right leg. That's the motorcycle. Correction, first aid was actually the ambulance. And streetwise was the cop car. Sorry about that. The picture here shows actually a different position for each one of them. So I'm not really sure about that one. So here are some other iterations of him. And in 2015, you had the Generations version. And also in 2015, you had the Unite Warriors, which is part of the Combiner Wars. To me, both of these look pretty dang good. So then we have the Combaticons with Bruticus. And Bruticus consisted of Onslaught as the torso, Vortex as the left arm, Brawl as the left leg, Blastoff as the right arm, and Swindle as the right leg. So here are they. They are in vehicle and robot form. The G1 toys. You can also buy them on individually carded or in a box set. And here are some other iterations that came out through the years. Generation 2 was in 1994. The multi pack came out in 2012. Universe came out in 2008. I called this Bruticus Maximus. You had the Encore series on the left. You had the Generations on the right. That was 2012. Encore was 2009. You had the Combiner Wars in 2016. Also a Bruticus multi pack in 2016. And then you had the Unite Warriors. Also in 2016. Lots of stuff. Good gracious. So the biggest guy, the best guy in my opinion, was Predacons with Predaking. You had to buy them individually in order to build Predaking. And so here are the five. You had Dive Bomb, Headstrong, Rampage, Pantrum. And the leader of the team was Razor Claw. So Platinum Edition came out in 2013 of Credit King. Then you also had the Generations version. Power of the Primes was in 2018. So then you had the Technobots or Computron, which had Scattershot, Afterburner, Lightspeed, Nosecone, and Strafe. So here are the crazy looking figures for vehicle mode. There's the box set and the individually carded figures. So you buy it both ways. And here they are in robot form. It also shows you an animated version of them in vehicle form. Generations put out a Collection pack in 2016, and then the Unite Warriors from the Combiner Wars put you out a box set in 2016 as well. Next, you had the Terracons or Abominus. These are these crazy mythical creatures, I guess, technically. Consists of Hunger for the torso, Ripper Snapper for the left arm, Blot for the right arm. Center twin for the left leg and cutthroat for the right leg. There it is in a box set form. And other versions that came out through the years was in the generations. We had 2018 individually carded ones. Next we had the Seacons with Piranacon. 
and the secons consisted of, and I'm going to not pronounce these right probably, nautilator for the firearm, overbite for the right arm, sea wing for the left arm, scalor for the right leg, snap trap for the torso, and tentacule for the left leg. And here they are, how they've been released over the years. Individually carded, box set, and then a G1 uh, re-release of the whole Predaking together, or uh, Piranacon together. And they got re-released again in 2008 as a box set, and then 2010. Next we have the Pretender Monsters, which was Monstructor. Consisted of Ice Pick, Bird Brain, Bristleback, Scowl, Slog, and Wildfly. And this was the only one that Hasbro did not release in a gift set. So here are the individually carded guys. And this was actually also the smallest of the combiner robots. So you had the monsters themselves, which were almost half the size of what the combiner robot itself was. And you could throw the robot in the back of the monster. The individual robots, that is. So then, the last one we have is the Autobots, or Optimus Maximus, which had Sunstreaker, Mirage, Battlecore Optimus Prime, Prowl, Ironhide, and Rodimus. And then it was released again in the Unite Warriors in 2016. And here's that box. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. Check out my other every videos. Also check out my son's channel, Back Legend. And I'll talk to you guys later.